here, bro. It's Monday. We're gonna start off with a good on a, on a good note. Start the week off good. The giveaway is closed. I'm done. Once this video goes up, everybody start looking at it. Is the, the video is the giveaway is done today? As of as of eight twenty eight thirty this morning, the giveaway is done. We gotta I gotta do the figure out how to decide who wins. But all the no more entries after after eight thirty. What is this, Eastern time? Are we Eastern time? Yes. I think so, yeah. Okay, so Eastern time. So. I had to think about it. Um, I want to thank everybody who participated, um, the people who emailed me their proof of subscription, uh, followed me on Instagram and messaged me on Instagram. I don't know what was going on with it. People kept telling me that I had, they had to like request to message me. I don't know. I got to go through my Instagram settings. But how come you didn't enter the win? What do you mean? You didn't enter the win, nothing. Why would you I? ain't supporting me? Why would I enter? I already have. It's for the probes. I already have a bag and a meter. <laughs> I don't have the probes. I lost probes. Ah, well. I should be giving everybody the update on who won. Uh, if not, tonight on my Instagram, and then I'll talk about it in the video next time I do a video. Um, I, it, it should be so. I, it should be so. First time doing a giveaway. Should I do the next one at a thousand subscribers? Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Yes. I don't know. I have to. I have to look, think about that one. That's a lot. Next, That's next, a lot. Next thing y'all win is car parts. Car, Wait, car please. Parts. Let's get the day started. Let's do some heat. In, let's do some heat in there. First service call. They want us to figure out how to stop this thing from rattling every time the motor cuts on. <sighs> I don't know how that happened, but the blower wheel is fairly, I mean, it's, I've seen worse, I've seen worse. It probably does need to be cleaned. But what I'm gonna try to do is just use some screws and some hole straps, strap it up here and then to there and see if that will stop it a little bit, I don't know. Boss man's on his way to try to come figure out what we can do, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right, Jacob, cut that on. Let's show the people on YouTube if this works. Nah. Maybe I just need more hole strap. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I guess more hole strap wouldn't hurt. Seems like. I mean, this part over here seems like it's pretty. It's just the whole thing. I don't know. <sighs> Should we just wait for Chad? It's still going right over regardless. I don't know. What would you guys, somebody let me know in the comments what they would do. And and I don't want to see a comment about, just replace the whole thing. This, I'm not in that position to do that. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Whole strap band number two. Let's see how it goes. better but it still rattles and I know this bracket is cracked right here yeah leave, leave it off just leave it off I mean I, I don't know what else to do other than that And even just looking at it just straight away, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but it just looks like it's off. I mean, there's a bigger gap on this side than over here. I mean, this thing's just falling apart. I don't know. I'll let Chad decide what he wants to do. Um, I got it shaking less than what it was. I don't know how quiet they want something from the 80s to be, but 
Chad will figure it out, though. He's better than me at that. Uh, shaking a little bit less. Add this right there. And this second screw right there. It's still shaking, but not nearly as violent, so... I guess I feel more like a service tech today. So why couldn't this have been done the first time, y'all? Can you lower the fan speed? got here and the system wasn't doing it like it was off so we just I've just been testing it with just fan on So what is that going to do if they put it in the cool mode? Inform the people what you did. I cleaned the blower wheel. 
That's why it took you so long to answer that. Because I thought I had a sneeze. So, Jacob cleaned the blower wheel while I ran to go get the new motor. It does look a hell of a lot better. You did a good job. Um, <laughs> this motor and this one, they were both universal, so... Uh, gotta be careful that control board on that. But we're replacing this one because we believe there to be a lot of play in this. I mean, there is play like there's supposed to be in the shaft. And it doesn't seem... Shut up. Shut up. Pause. Gotta say pause <laughs> in the words of Riley. But there's play in there. There's play in this one. So I, I don't know. We were told to go ahead and replace the blower motor. I'm going to do it. I don't think the the motor is the issue. I think that was the issue after pulling it out. Um, Shit, you can go look at the backyard and see how much chunks of hair. That was, oh, there's 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 chunks of it. Let's go check the chunks. God dang, dang boy, you don't left a mess. Where is it? Where'd you where'd you wash it? At? Oh, chunks all up here, over there. All right here. All up over there on the grass line. Fat chunks. Let's go ahead and put this blower motor in here and get this thing all running and see if it see if that fixes the rattle. <sighs> Cut one of these on and let's see how this There you go. Oh wait no, that was a that was a leaf. I'm stupid. Oh it it's not it's shaking, but it's not shaking. And making that rattling noise. Go ahead, turn it back on again. What is that? What is that noise? Is there a leaf in there? Nah, it's. What is that? Well, it's still shaking. But it's not shaking nearly as bad. I think I think it was the the scroll cage being dirty that was throwing it off balance. I mean, you can I can still see I can feel that vibrating. I can see the gas valve shaking a little bit. So I mean, it's put back together for now, but I don't know. Only time will tell. Hopefully those screws hold because you can definitely, if, if you un, if I undo the screws on there, you can see how like the the back of the screw is already starting to round out the metal. So I don't know how long that'll last before those just fall right out. But <sighs> takes care of one. We got one more big job to do. And that's that stupid reversing valve. And the bulk of today's video is going to be us taking apart this condenser to replace the reversing valve coil that we diagnosed as bad. Or not the coil, but the whole valve assembly. You ready, Jacob? Let's get to it, buddy. Good Mondays, good Mondays. And voila, everything is, is, is taken apart. Got the old valve out. Let's go get the new one and put it in. I made a oopsie. And I burnt through it trying to pull it off. I really hope that that hole will be able to go inside of this middle fitting right here. Because if it can, then that means this hole, the coupling part, the, the swage part will be able to cover that when I slide it on there and then I'll just be able to brace it up normally but we're gonna hope for the best hope for the best and figure out how to fix it if it don't work Jacob out here cleaning up the copper oh, some good, good sham ways down there be careful don't burn yourself them pipes are hot couldn't have Jacob record it because I'm needing his assistance on it but couldn't use this whole portion it was just too messed up so one side brazed in 
Uh, might have to. No, that looks. I don't see any dips in that one. We got the bottom all good so far. Two more, and then we got to start putting this all back together, put on a pressure test. Ugh. New filter line dryer in. Got the valve all brazed up. I'm very proud of myself. This is like my first reversing valve by myself, aside from having Jacob. I mean, my boss for assistance this is the first one I've done, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. Praying to God that that wet rag did its job. Jake, toss me that wet rag. I've heard good things about this. Um, I've tried like the act, like an actual wet rag, and I got that caught on fire one time, and I was just like, nope, not doing that again. <laughs> I was like, I guess I didn't get it wet enough, but uh, I've tried the spray gel. And the spray gel, the only issue I have with the spray gel is that if I leave it in the truck for too long, it'll just become like water. I mean, we had that go down the other day, and it was it was just a pain in the butt. So, I'm trying the, out the wet rag now. And I see, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. But we're going to get the coil back in. Attach the, I got the piston already out. I'm going to put the piston there and the one T-joint for the coil right here, and then put this thing under pressure and pray to god i have no leaks because i'll have to take apart most of this if anything's bad but i'm pretty sure i'm fine confident gotta get them views who said hvac is stressful look at me i feel great for sure <laughs> Always want to make sure you have a fox tip. I don't know how there could still be fucking vapor in here. Try and try and knock it a little bit. There we go. Okay, keep going. See with the whole with the with the torture real quick. a little bit let the heat just drag it on down to the bottom oh my god did you see it just pull itself in that was that was cold that was sweet that was sweet I actually just literally saw the pipe go in there I ain't seen that in a minute some call it magic oh I get the dang Mirror, check this out. Where my flashlight go? Right, right his back set up one through ten. This is terrible. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Not the prettiest on the bottom, but it's definitely sealed up. Definitely sealed. Look at that titty. I don't know if they can see the titty on the mirror. That thing is, or nipple would be more. More body positive. 
Let's get this thing under pressure, bro. I'm so ready. Under go. pressure. Go grab the nitrogen from the truck. Coil all put together. All everything wired up. If you thought I was just gonna put some wire nuts, you're dead wrong. Got the steak on on here. <sighs> pressure test so far 30 minutes only lost 5 psi I, I sprayed all everything that I welded or brazed with uh with the clear blue big the blue big blue big big blue leak detector I got no bubbles on any of my joints I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on a vacuum while it's on a vacuum Jacob's gonna clean the coil so this would be in way better condition than when we found it Ugh. So the tenant left us, um, he had to go, I guess, drop off his little brother at a basketball game or something. So we have no more access to inside the house. The, uh, the unit was in heat mode, but since the tenant's not here, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm charging it right now in cool mode. I've got the reversing valve jumped out right there on the orange because this is a Goodman. Um, and right, I'm just putting the factory charge that came in the condenser back in here. Um, which calls for like 7.04 pounds I'm almost there. I'm just giving the condenser a break the compressor a break right now I pumped like a whole pound straight so I'm letting it breathe but It's like 70 something degrees in there and according to my phone or my watch It's about 62 out here. So I'm just trying to get the factory charge in there They'll be rocking for a little bit if they call us back out for any you know that it's not keep keeping up with the with a hot day or something i'll be able to look back on the invoice and see that we just put back the factory charge in here so it's 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 close it's about six o'clock we're ready to go home but if i would have taken the time to actually go through and like film exactly how we braised it in um we braised it out or you know taking it out and everything like that we i'd probably just now be putting back this thing together so <sighs> that's that's gonna do it for this video we're gonna get up out of here um but I, again i want to thank everybody that participated in the giveaway and we will know everybody will know who the who the winner is here shortly i'm gonna have jacob participate in how we're gonna figure this out so stay tuned thank you guys for tuning in i hope you guys have a great day and a great rest of your week take care mm -hmm.